Good day guys, my name is Maros and I was lucky enough to get hold of one of those brand new GPUs from Nvidia's lineup. Oh man, it was sold out in about 5 minutes. That you can trust me. So, as the title of the video says, it's 3060 Ti with 8 gigs of VRAM, which is not exactly a greatest value coming close to the year 2021, as those new GPUs from AMD bring double the size to the table. Yes, there are some flaws to it, as optics is only supported on NVIDIA cards and therefore AMD is left with OpenCL render only, but hey, chances are this will change in the future, hopefully. But for now, let's analyze this beast. With 4864 shading units available and 38 second gen ray tracing cores, this card promises a substantial improvement over my last GTX 16060 Super, which is not a bad card, but those render times were kinda slow. So, I have this BMW benchmark scene open up, and as you can see the viewport performance is perfect. I can even imagine myself doing some adjusting to the model without changing the viewport shading. And it gets better if I turn on optics denoising in the viewport. Yes, the images look more like a painting at the very beginning, but when you wait a little, it corrects itself. The point is that no noise disrupts your eye from the model. Let's get to some benchmarks that I measured. Basically, the first benchmark is the original BMW benchmark file just purely rendered on optics, and it took somewhat 20 seconds to finish. When you enable optics for also denoising, you get it done under 14 seconds, which is crazy, as I remember people talking about their 1080 Ti's, that it took them 2 minutes to render the same scene. The second benchmark I've prepared is the classroom scene, where I also enabled the original scene to run under optics, and the time was about 1 minute and 29 seconds, which certainly is very good, but I believe it can be done faster. When you also enable optics for denoising and set the tile size to 256 times 256 pixels, you get a time 1 minute and 9 seconds, which I can only say, wow. I remember that some people reported around 6 minutes to render the same scene with 1080 Ti. The next optimization I'm going to do doesn't count for benchmark, as I lower the sample size from 300 to 20, but with that optics denoiser, I believe we will not see any noise on the image, so why waste the precious minute? The last benchmark is not actually a benchmark, but a Blender demo showcasing some capabilities of Blender. But anyways, I'm going to present it because there are some interesting tweaks that can be made to the scene. But first, let's render it purely as it is. Oh, it's not supported. The optics doesn't work. Why? You know, some shaders, for example ambient occlusion and bevel shader, are not yet supported by optics. I hope that they will in the future NVIDIA. So you're pretty much stuck with render on CUDA and your CPU. Looking at this time, I can see that it takes 6 minutes and 31 seconds to finish the scene, which is Pretty long, but nowhere as long 
as when I was starting out with Blender and changed my version from 2.49b to 2.50 and found a new render engine cycles. The sad reality though was that I was rendering on one core Celeron CPU which took some scenes about 7 hours to render just the pure single image. But what about those tweaks I mentioned before? I'm going to let my GPU alone handle the render in cycles without optics, as those shaders will not work with optics. But what about denoising? No one talked about that. If we turn it on and let optics handle pure denoising, not the render, we can see the time dropping by whole 6 minutes to just 21 seconds. The problem would be if you would ask me to give you an ultimate answer whether this card is worth it or not. As we all know, to get hold of one you must be incredibly fast and lucky. The price is also an issue, but considering it packs 2080 super level of performance, I'd get it. It's worth it, but only if you don't have to buy it up from scalpers. Please. Don't support scalpers. And with that in mind, I wish you to have a nice day. See you soon.